Oh, um, uh, shit. Uh, you're, here's Tokyo Ghoul Volume 9. We are getting there. We are getting there. Volume 9 out of 14. I pretty much already said everything I had to say about Tokyo Ghoul. You know, it's a great series. I definitely think it's worth picking up, especially in these signature editions. They're really, really good. And I'm really excited to see these releases finish up next year so we can move on to bigger and better things. My Hero Academia Volume 6. I've already talked a bit about this series, but I freaking love it. It's awesome. It's well past 100 chapters now. It definitely has the potential to, you know, be the next big crazy thing like Naruto or One Piece. I mean, at this point, just the fact that it's still running in Shonen Jump is a pretty big accomplishment. But yeah, it's a really fun story with great characters, really cool fight scenes, awesome powers. The art is really good. Only six volumes are out so far, so if you haven't gotten into it yet, I definitely think it's worth checking out. I'm a Hero, Volume 2, here we go. Still haven't read the first one, I've been super busy guys, oh my god. I'm actually gonna have a vlog out the weekend talking about some upcoming videos. But yeah, I'm still very excited to read I Am A Hero, it's a zombie manga, I hear great things about it. Yeah, here we finally have Volume 2, man these releases are slow, holy crap. I think Volume 1 came out in like April or something. I mean there's like 20 volumes out, why, why the crap are you taking so long Dark Horse? Speaking of taking so long, here we have... Oh boy, we have we have quite the thing. Here is Stardust Crusaders, finally out in the Jojonium edition. So let's be real, these are probably the greatest releases ever made. That might be a bit of an exaggeration, but seriously, these volumes are friggin' beautiful. Like, oh my god, I am so, so thankful. You know, it was just Thanksgiving over there in America. I'm very, very thankful that Viz is releasing these. The thing I'm a little less thankful for is how slow the releases actually are. And you're probably thinking, wait, they come out like th every three months, that's not that big a deal. Well, see, the thing is, JoJo is a long-ass series, and uh, it's gonna take quite a while for them to get through it all. Now, we technically don't know if they're gonna be doing the entire series. Uh, all that's been confirmed so far is part three and four. Problem is, though, both of those are gonna be like 10 Jojonium volumes, and we're getting like four a year. Yeah, so it's just a bit unfortunate, kind of a pain we have to wait so long for these, just considering how long they've been out in Japan, like I'm pretty sure Stardust Crusaders started in like 1991 or something. And we also already have all of Stardust Crusaders in English. Don't worry though, I, I will read it all, I'm gonna eventually have to catch up online just because the volumes are so slow. Also if you notice you got a staff pick here from CJ, what a dude, I freaking love CJ. This is because I had to actually buy this one from retail because I ordered it online, but as I was ordering it, they actually sold out, so they it gave me a refund, so I'm just like, yeah, screw this, I'm just gonna go buy it in the store because I gotta have this. So yeah. Very excited. I loved, loved Battle Tendency. Can't wait to read Status Crusaders. Next up is a brand new series, Pretty Hype, Fire Force. Now, last year when the series actually first started serialization, I did review the first couple of chapters and I really liked it, but I decided it wasn't really the type of series I wanted to follow weekly, especially because this is from, of course, Atsushi Okubo, the creator of Soul Eater, which is a manga series that I very much enjoyed binge reading, so I think it would be better if I did that with this as well. And yeah, I just can't wait to see what this series will become. Very excited. I mean, as you know, Soul Eater is just super, super popular. They friggin' have it on the cover there. Kodansha doesn't even own this series, and they're still advertising it. Anyway, if you don't know what it's about, it's about friggin' firefighting exorcists with fire powers, and it's friggin' glorious. You can clearly tell that the same mind behind Soul Eater wrote this series, because, like, holy crap, it's weird. But, I mean, Soul Eater is one of my favorite manga. Absolutely cannot wait to read this, it is going to be awesome. And to finish off this month's pickups, we have something that's pretty special. Here we have Ocarina of Time. So, if you didn't know, I'm a massive, massive Zelda fan. I friggin' love Zelda, holy crap. Ocarina of Time in particular, on the 3DS alone, I've put in over 200 hours. And you're probably thinking, well, the game's only like 30 hours, and yeah. Yeah, I replayed the game a lot. It's been about five years since I got Ocarina of Time 3D, and uh, yeah, I, I replay it. I replay it quite frequently. I friggin' love Ocarina of Time. Not my favorite Zelda game, but by far it has some of the most memorable gaming experiences ever. It's a really, really special game. A lot of people love it, and as you may have known, there is a manga for it. And I know I say this about a lot of series, but I really feel like the Zelda manga has been recommended to me more than any other series. And not too long ago, I was just going to give up and get the box set, but then I found out that they are releasing friggin' legendary editions. This right here is an omnibus. It has has uh, both volumes of Ocarina of Time. Not only that, but it also has these friggin' amazing cover pages. Look at that art. Like, I friggin' screamed when I saw this. It looks so good. And the quality of this volume is so good. 
Oh my God, it's so good. It feels great to hold. It's just amazing. So, so happy that these exist. They're of course going to be doing these for the rest of the Zelda manga. I also know that Twilight Princess is coming out in March. I'm not sure if Twilight Princess will get those or not, but I still cannot wait to read this. I will be doing a full series review for this since two volumes is kind of my uh, minimum to do a full series review. And I'm just really excited to see how the game translates into manga form because I hear really good things about it, but I'm also interested because, you know, the story of Ocarina of Time there honestly isn't very much to it. Like, a few things will happen, Link will go through a bunch of dungeons, and then something else will happen. Like, you could really summarize the entire story in, like, a single chapter, so I'm really excited to see what they did with it. And I'm also very much looking forward to reading all of the other volumes of the Zelda manga that come out. So these were my pickups for November, some pretty awesome stuff. But also, guys, you know next month is December. You remember December last year? Yeah. Yeah, we're going pretty crazy. Honestly, I don't know how crazy, because I haven't really even decided what I'm going to be getting yet. You know, aside from the usual series updates. You know, since I already own most of the box sets, I think I'm just going to chill with those and just pick up whatever looks interesting. So yeah, you guys can look forward to that if you want to stay up to date on my manga collection. You can follow me on Instagram. If you want to stay up to date on my videos, you can follow me on Twitter. You can leave your pickups in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.